Hey there, it's Brittany and I'm back with an unboxing video for a store called Vinswet Store. I think that's how you say it, V-I-N-S-W-E-T, Stone Store, and they're on AliExpress. And um, they reached out and asked if I would do a review for them. And I sent them a couple links of things that I liked, but uh, they sent me quite a few items. So I'm super excited. I haven't really looked through anything yet. I just opened the box to get like the shipping info. Unfortunately, there's not a shipping um, uh, packing list, but I have links for everything and I will all of that will be in the description below. Please check them out. There's a sale coming up on AliExpress. Um, I think it's called their 1111 sale. Um, I know they have this sale every year and that's what they wanna promote, so um, check that out. Uh, I don't even know where to start. There are a lot of little packages like this but there's a big yummy juicy delicious looking huge package and this thing the box was six pounds okay this is this is what we have to go through today so yeah yeah we have a lot to do i'm very excited and i posted a picture of the box on my Britney's beads with as a teaser and I was like I don't know what's in here but six pounds and we're gonna go through it so oh my goodness all right so let's go through this little guy right here I'm just gonna open him with some scissors happy election day to everybody I will be very happy that the commercials will be over I don't even really watch TV but I mean you still get them on YouTube and, and on Instagram and everywhere you could possibly think of so I will be happy it's over um, okay, I these look like these are crackle glass and they have an A B finish on them. I'm trying to find where the how to open it. Oh, I'll just do that. These are beautiful. Oh wow, these are gonna look oh gosh, my hands are really dirty from opening that box. Oh no, this is green pen from work, and I think this is from opening the box. So um the these are Aurora Borealis crackle glass. These are gonna look amazing in Christmas or snowflake um, jewelry. That's so beautiful. I love these. These are eight millimeter. I don't think I've ever seen AB crackle glass and those look like pretty good quality. Like they feel good. They don't feel lightweight. They're very nice. Okay, I went and washed my hands. I couldn't do anything about the green pen, but <laughs> I got the dirt from the box off of them. That would have driven me nuts for the last or for the rest of this video. <gasps> These are beautiful. I'm going for this one next. From what I can see through the bubble wrap, it's beautiful. Sorry. They're crystals. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my. This would make Okay, so I have several ideas running through my head just looking at them, and my eyes are like huge, popping out of my brain right now. Um, my face, not my brain. So this one, I can just picture that wire wrapped as a focal, um, like a bohemian style necklace. We could also do like oh, a, a collar necklace. Gosh, these are beautiful. These are beautiful and they have that beautiful Aurora Borealis on them. Yeah, these are gorgeous. Nice crystals. And look at the top of this one. Like the top is just, I wouldn't even want to cover that with wire because it's so pretty. Wow. And I don't know if you guys know this, but you can use these and cover the tops with polymer clay and turn that into a bale and bake this. Um, so I could potentially just put polymer clay on this side as a bale somehow and then use this to hang um, a charm at the bottom I have so many ideas these are beautiful it's very long this is like a 15 inch strand this is a full strand of these enormous no wonder this box was so heavy <laughs> these are beautiful wow those are very good quality okay next oh my goodness I just don't even know where to go here Oh my gosh. Looks like I have some more of those spikes, but I'm gonna go for this guy next. <gasps> I remember putting, see, I remember pointing out a bunch of this stuff. I probably pointed out everything here, 
but I didn't think they'd send it all and I didn't <laughs> didn't remember I was just kind of like grabbed a bunch of stuff and I was like okay let's look at that O M G oh my goodness look at these way to go past Brittany okay so we're gonna look at these separately all right oh I can't wait to make jewelry with this you guys we're gonna have tutorial and design city with this package <gasps> look at these I don't really have many Z beads and the ones I do are um, are round so I don't know I, I can't remember I'll have to go through um, my the the links that I sent them I think these are faux but I, I actually don't know for sure I think maybe those are faux but they're so beautiful look at that oh, yeah I'll have to go through those links and I might put them on the screen here if I figure it out while I'm editing the video so those are really pretty oh my gosh look at these look at this guy oh I'm gonna show these separately I love these sorry for like the glare from the these are pretty shiny I don't have anything like this and I can't wait to make something out of it like this is a focal for a bracelet or a necklace for sure I wouldn't use this as an accent bead <gasps> this is so beautiful I love those patterns I think this one's either glass or ceramic it's not stone for sure and then we have these two wow I just love the variety here so pretty so pretty okay and then we have another pack don't worry I will put the links below and they're having a sale <laughs> so hopefully some of this stuff will be on sale and you check them look at that so yesterday I posted that video using a donut um, that donut from um, hole in the wall beads but this this could we could use that um, technique on this donut oh my gosh this is so gorgeous and I just love how bright that pattern is I don't have anything like that these are amazing Ugh. you guys know this is right up my alley these are so beautiful I want to make beads that look like this I do have it on my list to to make do like a faux Z bead tutorial with polymer clay these are so pretty oh, I just love that white stripe right through the middle so here was this package sorry for my green finger <laughs> so self-conscious about my finger being green <laughs> um, and then oh gosh it's just so beautiful so beautiful okay I'm gonna put these back in so I don't lose any of them if you guys get any ideas while you're seeing any beads leave me a note uh, in the comments below saying hey this bead make this with it maybe I'll do it <laughs> I'm getting quite a bit of ideas myself but we're gonna be doing videos forever from this haul my goodness I would have been happy with everything I just unboxed already like and would have been pleased as punch we still have quite a few to go through okay so here's another looks like another one of those spike sets and yes I know these are scrapbooking scissors so they shouldn't be cutting through this but they've been sacrificed to my bead make my jewelry making those of you who have paper scissors specifically know what I'm talking about <laughs> Oh, I forgot I put these on the list. They're the amazing, uh, amazonite. I do that once in a while. I'll slip up and call it amazonite. Well, there it's amazing. It's amazonite. O M G. These are beautiful, and we can use them in a collar again. Wrap them. Oh my! I have so many ideas. I have so many ideas. I want to make a necklace with this for sure. Not all of them because I'm going to hoard some of these, but I already have a beautiful necklace in mind. And look. Look how good this color palette is together. The brown with the with the turquoise or the aqua. 
I'm dying. I'm going to pass out. <laughs> I've died and gone to heaven. These are beautiful. Ugh. Now I just want to go back and get all the other colors. Um, there's one more of the spike sets. And I know which one this is. And I'm like so excited to open it. My goodness, it's amethyst. These are so beautiful. Do you see how deep and rich this purple is? And I love the striations on these with the white. Oh, these are beautiful. These are beautiful. And they had, and I'm not even kidding you, they had tons, and I mean tons of different sets so i think they had rose quartz they had clear they had i mean any gemstone you could think of they had and i really just threw three on the list thinking maybe they would send me one or half of one <laughs> wow these are beautiful these are gorgeous i cannot wait to make something with these i i kind of wish they were double drilled so i could do something that way but possibly i could glue you could even glue these together and put a bail on it and that could be a focal Ooh, my creativity is running away right now. Okay, sorry, I want to clear this off a little bit. Okay, let's start on this enormous box, or bag, I should say, of gemstones. Oh, I am amazed. Okay, so it looks like we have matte, we have some lava, we have some shell, and we have regular um, finished. So, okay, the first one I have are these matte um, t green tiger eye. I don't have any green tiger's eye and these are matte and they're so pretty. These are 12 millimeter. I let them know, hey, I don't really use a lot of smaller beads, um, but I use 8, 10, and 12 and they sent me these in 12. Oh my goodness. Looks like they sent me these in 12, 8, 10, and 12. This would make such a beautiful like graduated necklace or a multi-strand necklace. These are gorgeous. And I love that you can see that flash still, but they're matte. And they're like the the matte gemstones are perfect for like bracelets. They they feel so soft against your skin, but they're also really good for men or more masculine jewelry. So if you're one who likes masculine jewelry or you have somebody in your life who likes masculine jewelry, these are perfect. I made a, a tiger, a matte tiger eye bracelet using 12 millimeter um, brown tiger eye from my uncle last Christmas, and he loved it. He said, "Oh my god!" Like he he was just like looking at it. He couldn't believe he said he'd never seen anything like that before. These are gorgeous. These are just beautiful. Those are perfect for Christmas too. Okay. Oh my gosh. There's so much going on in here. All right. So more matte, and they must have sent at least in a couple of these all three sizes <gasps> these okay sorry sorry i'm getting my life together here guys our lime these have to be jasper i don't have any jasper this color i am obsessed with Jas jasper right now um because i just love the striations of the um in the uh the stone you know what my hands dirty again <laughs> they, there must be a little bit of dirt oh you know what there these were dusty these were dusty okay so um yeah these are these look like candy this is a 10 millimeter we've got eight millimeter we're gonna be making a lot of stretch bracelets guys and 12 millimeter these would be perfect for again graduated necklaces graduated um bracelets my gosh, look at this one. So neon green. I love it. I love green. I love green. As much as I love turquoise, green, green and pink are my hot favorite, my second favorites. Um, hot pink is my absolute second favorite though. Okay, so there's quite a bit going on in this bag. Um, let me show you. Oh my goodness. So these, I love hearts. You guys know I love hearts. And these are gold plated or you know, electroplated lava hearts. 
so sweet. These would be perfect for a dainty um, stretch bracelet. Perfect for a dainty, like this would be the focal. Oh, I can't wait to make um, some jewelry with this stuff. So you know what, since I can't wait to make jewelry with some of this stuff, I'm gonna make something at the end of this video for sure. We have it in bright silver. Look at that, look how shiny and beautiful that is. And then um, we have it in like a, ooh, a gun metal. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with hearts. Like they're just so cute and sweet. Um, so this is a different gold. This one's more toned down, but I like both of them. So you can see the difference. This is not rose gold because this is rose gold. <laughs> So this one looks a little dull, but they're, you know, that actually makes it look more realistic. I don't know. These are the three golds. Let me put all five of these next to each other. This is amazing. Look at how beautiful those are. I kind of want to just make a, a wall hanging with these as, as the focal on the wall hanging. This would be beautiful, just like stripes of these beads next to each other. So beautiful. Thank you so much, Vince Wet Store. It's like, I can't even believe it. I can't even believe what I'm looking at. So there's still more to come. Um, let's see, it looks like we have some Amazonites. Like, uh, we have the three sizes actually i don't know if this is amazonite now that i'm thinking about it it might be something else um if it is something else i'll put it on the screen right here um we've got 8 12 and 10 millimeter and it's uh matte again so beautiful this is like um so calming on the eyes it kind of reminds me of um glaciers like it's the blue like a that pale blue that's in glaciers this would be beautiful in a, a necklace like that a little heavy but it would be beautiful in a necklace like that okay and then we have some i i don't know the name of this and if i can find it out i'll put it down below but it's matte and it looks like malachite but i um and it's i think it's like like it might be called bumblebee something but it's yellow and black and white and this is um matte so pretty that's 10 millimeters um i have eight and 12 too these are so gorgeous i just love that now i'm not a huge fan of <laughs> black white and yellow together because I'm from Cleveland and the the our arch nemesis the the Pittsburgh Steelers are, are um, black white and red <laughs> go Browns but um, I, I'll put my bias aside for these beads because they're beautiful <laughs> they are absolutely beautiful and the thing is you can do like if you love Batman these are Batman colors they don't have to be Pittsburgh Steelers colors but I mean if you like Pittsburgh Steelers these are good colors for those Anywho, let's talk, stop talking about them. <laughs> These are so gorgeous. These are so gorgeous. I feel like I fell into uh, the best dream ever when I opened this box. Um, ooh. Ooh, there's so many pretty things. I don't even know where to start. Okay, okay, I have to choose something. All right. These are like a magenta fuchsia. Oh, look at that. Even though they're matte, there's a beautiful flash on them. Ah. <gasps> These are 10 millimeter. Yeah, these are 10 millimeter. These are tiger's, tiger's eye, tiger eye, eight millimeter. My goodness, I won't have to buy <laughs> gemstones for a while. <laughs> Never mind that I haven't gone through any of the other gemstones I have. But mm, these are all, I, I made sure to put ones that I don't have in the links and I'm so glad I did because I you know want to show you guys new stuff 
And I'm sure some of you have been seeing some of these types of gemstones out there because it just seems like new ones become available and they're fun to look at and you know we never get to see them in somebody's hands. Um, so I'm so glad I was able to, to, to get some of these. These are pearls. But they look like shells and they might be I think these are cultured shell pearls I don't know um, these actually looked a little bit nicer on their website however they're still really pretty these are a very bright blue like a cerulean blue color I love them I like this guy a lot these would be nice like charms or good on a um, cha-cha bracelet these are really pretty I'll have to brainstorm with these. Actually, they look really nice just like that as a necklace. These would be pretty with, like this on a necklace with like a crystal bicone between each one for a very simple but elegant necklace that's gonna get noticed. So have you ever noticed that like sometimes the more simple they are, the more people go nuts for them when you're wearing them? Because it happens to me all the time. Oh my goodness, this is pretty. Okay, these are blue tiger eye sorry the lights are blinging off of them um, but if you could see the flash on there these are such a beautiful beautiful blue oh my gosh oh this one looks like a planet looks like a galaxy almost okay so that's eight millimeter 10 millimeter And 12 millimeter, holy moly. I thought they would send me maybe like one eight millimeter strand of each, maybe, max. <laughs> Thank you so much, it's it's amazing. And I can't wait for you guys to, to check them out. Oh, this one's so beautiful. Okay, sorry, I'm staring at them and I know I should be unboxing the rest. We're getting through though, we only have a few more, which, uh, it, that's still quite a few <laughs> left. Okay, next, um, I don't remember what these are. Let's see, oops. These are lapis lazuli. Because you can see, and they're, they're matte rondelles, but you can see the flash of the pyrite in there. Holy moly, these are gorgeous. These are gorgeous. I just love them. They're smaller. They're perfect. These are perfect for accents. Um, they're good to hang off the back of a necklace too, like on leather or eslon thread. Holy mama. Okay, next I have these stick beads. These are the blue sandstone. I love blue sandstone because it's like glitter in a stone. It's such a gorgeous, like talk about a midnight like galaxy looking piece. I need to make um, like a space themed piece because I love stars, I love galaxies, I love planets, stuff like that, space. These are beautiful, so gorgeous. And then um, let's see what's next. Uh, looks like we have some shell beads. Oh, these are pretty. Mother of pearl. I don't have any that are this nice. Like these are top quality, like mother of pearl. And then now I have them in eight, 10 and 12 millimeter. These are beautiful. Probably will end up washing these beads just because I can tell like the dirt from um, them being in the box, the box itself, the packaging, but once they're clean, sometimes, and when I do that, sometimes I just put them in a bowl with a little bit of dish soap and swish them around, then put them on a kitchen towel to wash them off. You want to make sure that if, if you think the beads are dyed, you don't do that, or you do them with only like colored beads, like colored beads, so they don't dye other beads or other things these are gorgeous these are my favorite out of the three sizes this 12 millimeter because they're just so luxurious look at this guy right here so beautiful um oh we have a straggler Ooh, just seeing these together hold on these 
with these. That's going to happen. Maybe that's what I'll do. Oh, I don't want to use these yet. <laughs> but look how pretty that brown is with the, the cream. Yeah, I might have to make a bracelet before we finish this video. Um, these are really fun. It's more of that striped gemstone. These look like candy. These look like those everlasting gobstoppers, but like the inside of them, jawbreakers. This one's so cool. These are beautiful. I kind of want these in glossy. These would look fantastic in, in not glossy, but polished beads. But I really do like the matte too. So neat. So neat. Okay, we're coming up on the end here. I have these shell beads. I don't think I've ever seen this shape before and it's so pretty. I can picture just like a um, hand linked uh, with eye pins. These would be really nice. See really simple earrings with these, like um, a circle and one of these hanging down from the earring in gold. Um, I have some more Jasper. I think I'll save that to the last. And then, okay, we have some more lava beads. But these are that funky purple finish that I just love. You guys know I love this finish. You've seen me make jewelry with it before. Um, if you go back to watching some of my Zuni Bear videos, I've used these before, and these are beautiful. I just love the colors on them. And then I got these in rondelles, which I don't have any like this. So pretty. And then, oh, oh, these are neat. These would be fantastic for earrings. Even just one piece on an earring by itself, like a one bead earring. Those would be fun, fast, and really fun gifts. And then, this is the last one of the, the, the lavas. Some stars. Oh my gosh. The only thing that would make it better is the hearts, but <laughs> so I'll do with the stars. I actually have some stars, but I think they're smaller than this. These are gorgeous. Oh, look at these. All of them together. I need to do like a really cool cosmic y piece of jewelry to put those together. I don't think these, yeah, I don't think those really go with it, but you never know. You never know. These are so beautiful. Okay, I have one more. Mm, it's coming to an end, but I had so much fun. These are purple jasper. Oh my God, they're so gorgeous. And I know my best friend, Laura, is gonna freak out. <gasps> so beautiful. These remind me of that ocean jasper that I've done um, a few things with, but there's no blue in them. There's no turquoise. These are just purple. And I love the matte finish on them. Oh my gosh, so eight, 10, and 12 millimeter again. These are so fun. Just love that tan brown striation through that pop, makes the purple pop. And here's the 12. Oh, I feel absolutely so lucky that they asked me to review these. Um, check out their store. I'm going to leave all the links below. Every single link that I can find, I'm going to put them below so you can check out each bead separately. Um, again, the name of the store is, and I'm hoping I'm saying this right, Vin Sweat. Um, stone store on aliexpress and their store their their uh, aliexpress's uh sales coming up next week 11 11 veterans day um check out that's one of their bigger sales of the year i always shop on 11 11 again sometimes these things might not come very quickly um it can take upwards of a month i've had some things take two or three months but they they come in they come in so it just also depends on what shipping you choose to so thank you so much for watching thank you for listening me to me geek out oh hey i was gonna make something let's make something really quickly there were so many beautiful things in this um in this package but I think I am gonna grab these this really spoke to me these 10 millimeter um, shell beads and I'm going to pick a Z bead and it's spelled DZI guys Z beads um, let's see what do I like the best and I'm like oh I like this one not shiny enough I liked this one but this has like white instead of cream although it's really close 
Oh, I like that. But I do like how this one's a little bit more round. I think we'll go with my first choice and we'll stick with this guy. Um, let me put these off to the side. Um, I have my trusty dusty beetle on elastic cord needle. I have some GS Hypo Cement and I have my um, uh, beading cord. Yeah, I think, I'm hoping, you know what? I don't know if these beads, the um, needle will fit through them, but we can test that out. I will be get now that I'm getting back to normal and by getting back to normal, I still need to unpack my entire house, but um, I will be going back and finishing my 100 day bracelet um, challenge. I stopped at day 70. Yeah, this isn't going to fit, but that's okay. We can fit. We can just put them on. We can thread them on here ourselves. I stopped at day 70 um, and then my life kind of went crazy. It was supposed to end, I think on October 4th, but um, that just means you guys get 30 more days of bracelets. I think I actually stopped somewhere around day 75 or something like that. But since I was only te checking in every eight, uh, every 10 days, you guys only saw up to day 70. So once I get my life together, once I get this figured out, this whole room finished, we're going to go back into that. All right. So I'm going to, I'm just going to thread on a bunch of, of these beads. It's really going to be simple because I really want to showcase these beautiful shells or shell, um, mother of pearl shells. And I want to focus on this. So I'm not, I might get one. No, I was going to think maybe a gold spacer bead between here and the shells, but no, I'm really just going to load on a bunch of shells, um, the Z bead and then finish it off. Okay, so we have our bracelet stranded. It's really simple, like I said, guys. Um, I actually, this is giving me vibes from when I was like in my early 20s, I had this um, had this sweater that was this color and it, this bracelet is just reminding me of fall because of that cable knit sweater. So um, yeah, no. I, now I need to go. I, I don't have any use for a sweater in Arizona, but now it makes me want one. So anyway, I'm going to do this. I always just do it three times. One, two, three. And then make sure you pre-stretch. I actually can't remember if I pre-stretched, but I can't imagine not doing it. Here's our bracelet. Um, I'm going to grab my Hypo Cement. Dab it on both sides of that knot. Oops, I got some on my beads. Ooh, there's a, it was a hot mess. Paper towel. Clean off your bead as much as you can while it's wet. And then tighten again to get that, that glue work down into the knot. I usually wait, unless I'm on a video, <laughs> five minutes to snip, but I'm gonna snip this. And I just do it about an eighth of an inch away from the knot. And then we just hide the knot in either either bead. This one's much bigger uh, hole, so it's just going to be easier to get it in there. And look, we have a very simple, but this is truly an elegant bracelet. I gotta put my cap and my glue, or I'm gonna get glue literally everywhere. Um, yeah, I am just blown away by the actual quality, the the feel of these beads in person. You never, sometimes you can't tell, and especially if you're coming from um, a different country, so, uh, the beads are coming from a different country, you don't, you can't really like send them back. <laughs> I mean, you could try, but it's gonna cost you a pretty penny. These are really good quality beads. I, I'm still really amazed. So thanks for watching. Um, uh, let me know what you liked, what you saw that you liked the most. Um, I can't even, I, I honestly can't even choose right now. I think it's going to be these guys. Well, obviously the Z beads, these guys, the shells, they're just so beautiful. And they had them in, they had these in like uh, the cream and then they had them in more variegated color with the brown that you can sometimes see with shells. Um, this guy, like this is my color palette. Okay, look at that. Do you see? Oh, we're gonna have to have a necklace with the cream, 
the, tur the turquoise and the brown and white. So stay tuned for that. I can't wait to make something that looks like that. It might not be these beads, but we're definitely doing this color palette. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Vince Wet, um, Stone Store for sending me these items to show you guys. Um, you will be seeing tons of tutorials. Uh, it, there's no way I can just let these beads sit in a box <laughs> or a drawer or in a bag somewhere. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for Goldie. Bye-bye. Are you doing an exorcist impression? Who just falls asleep like that? <laughs> you could not be less impressed.